one record and the pioneers come in with a four seven and one overall record and the bison slam it down in the back and emotions will be running high like we, we stated, it's senior day for the Sacred Heart, so look for the Pioneers to come out strong and fast aggressive themselves. Look at the field of Bison pressuring early. Sacred Heart, here's Martinez with it. Bison going, pressuring hard. Shot on goal immediately. That was number 10 for the Bison Nation Christian. A little bit too far. And then already an early injury on the field. And that's Koke Garcia Martinez. He's been in a lot of pain as a freshman. And if you're Howard, that's exactly how you want to come out in the game. Yeah, they're putting the pressure on early. Hopefully Martinez is okay. Get a new shot from Kenny. We'll go check on him. back after these injuries right now. Subbing in for the Pioneers will be Asa Mo Moskowitz for the injured Koke Garcia Martinez. You can see Kenny Key over here on the sideline. The Bison will retain possession. Need to throw in the middle of the field. And that cleared by Will Pierce. Pierce again will get inside on it. This one out of bounds near Cyborg Moskowitz launched in the middle of the field. The Bison pressuring. No foul called. Middle of the field, Castrillo. Pierce trying to make something happen. Quick field. Bison defense doing well to stop that one. Middle of the field, Castrillo goes far side. Murugaran. He takes middle of the field. That's going to be picked up by Kaiula. And stoppage and play. A foul called on Kaiula. The Bison will take it. It will be Jelani Pierre along with Alex Taylor for the Bison. And early on, you see the Bison trying to speed up the game, the game flow. That's, de that's definitely their game plan. They definitely want to outflank. So not pioneers have to be careful how they deal with this. Taylor goes far side. That'll be number seven, Nathan Leggett. Middle of the field now. Pierce tries to get it down the field, knocked away by Taylor. Near side picked up by the Bison. In the middle of the field, and that's gonna be back to the goalkeeper, Siegel. Siegel will launch it, middle of the field. Far side knocked out of the knocked out of play by number 18 for the Bison. Gaines. Those balls were in the 
for whoever's going deci to decide this game. Who's going to win the 50 50s? Who's going to win the ball in the air? Throw-in will be made by number 19, Nick Kirby. Kirby gets it back at his feet again, crosses it far down the side, looking for the senior Rob Taylor, but the Bison able to get their head on it, and that's going to be knocked out of bounds, staying with the Pioneers. And that's what the Pioneers want to do. They want to change the direction of play. Those long diagonal balls are going to be on offer today. And the Bison playing some good defense, but that's going to be a corner kick. Knocked out of play by Jackson Lewis. And Castrillo looks like he's going to be taking the corner kick for the Pioneers. See if the Pioneers can strike early. Just three minutes, 38 seconds into this game. A lot of traffic in that box. Trio knocks it low ball. That's being knocked out of play by number seven from the Bison, Nathan Leggett. And the Bison will have a throw in near side. It'll be Lewis taking the throw in for them. Goes far down the near side, knocked out of play once again. By Taylor, that time it was Rob Taylor. And off the head and out of play, that was Bryson Baker. And then Don Donna Cimiento will throw it in for the Pioneers in the middle of the field. Picked up by Castrillo, goes far side now, trying to find Moskowitz. Moskowitz can't corral it, and then it'll be a throw in for the Bison on the far side. Slight misjudgment on the ball right there. Throwing it in will be Mason Christian. Try to get it to the middle of the field. Christian gets it back. Goes far side. Try to make a play on it. Is Baker. Good defense by Pierce. Goes back into the defensive side. It'll be Brandon Franklin. Franklin goes far side. But he gets it right back. Franklin looking around. Goes right back. Over to Taylor. Taylor trying to make something happen. Being chased by Pearson. Pearson gets it middle field, but the Bison able to retain possession. Fighting for it in midfield. And eventually won by Gansalo. Gansalo goes far down the side. That will be an easy pickup for Seigel. He was looking middle of the field. Looked like possibly Baker was there, but... Now Muro Garin goes back... And he gets it right back from Siegel. Mugarn goes far down the near side, trying to get it to the middle of the field. And a foul will be called on number nine, Oliver Pearson for the Pioneers. Now the Bison going quick. Near side goes in the middle of the field. Christian with it. Still with it, goes back. Taylor will get it now back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper kicking it to the far side. It's Taylor. Taylor going back in the middle of the field. Sacred Heart playing some good defense so far. Not allowing the Bison to get too close to the goal. And there's Franklin. Franklin slowing the pace of the game, letting the offense set up. Goes to the far side, but a nice defensive play made by Dossimiento. And you see Sacred Heart getting numbers behind the ball. They want the... They want Howard to think on the offensive end, force him to make those long balls. Picked right back up by the Bison and a fight for the ball. Taylor gets it out. And now Rob Taylor will pass it off to Don, Don uh, Cimiento for the throw in. Lewis makes a play on the ball for the Bison. Nice little 1 2 ball back into the middle. And now the Bison will try to move it around. Number seven, Nathan Leggett with the ball. Makes a nice through pass, trying to find Christian, but it's a little too far ahead, and Siegel will make the save. He's going to let his offense set up. It goes right back to the side, and Muro Garin will pick it up now. 
takes a high ball into the middle of the field, a little bit too far, looking for Pierce. But Taylor able to corral it, taking it right away. But now here goes Lewis. Lewis down the far side. Lewis, Lewis going all the way, trying to get by Donna Cimiento. And a foul is called on the play. That'll be Sacred Heart possession. As Etienne Mugarn will kick it off. And the goalkeeper will now come out and take the kick. Justin Siegel. He's going to launch this one down the near side. Making a play on the ball for Howard. Is Jelani Pierre back and forth, heading back and forth both sides. As Gonzalo eventually gets it away for the Bison. It goes right back to Siegel. Siegel nice, cool, and collected on that touch. Yeah, Baker was running at him, but he was able to get it away cleanly. Pierce with it in the middle of the field. Kicks back over to Castrillo. Castrillo. Ball movement to Moore Garin. He goes right back to Siegel. Pioneers trying to slow the pace of pe place of Pepe. Hey. Trying to get it going. Middle of the field is picked up by Pierce. Pierce, or excuse me, Pearson. Right back to Castrillo, a little bit too far, no one home. But Taylor em ending up grabbing it anyway. And that'll be out of bounds. Excuse me, that's still in. Tosimiento gets it. It's a foul on the Bison. And then Castrillo will now kick it for the Pioneers with a good chance to maybe set something up. Ten minutes have gone by in this first period. And let's see if Castrillo can whip this in the box and get Burns in behind. Sacred Heart has four or five guys on the on the, the far side. Castrillo tries to whip it in. The goalkeeper makes a nice play for Howard. Great block by the Howard defense once again. That was number 18 gains. So your heart's still on the attack though. As Moskowitz tries to get into the box. Once again, Howard all over that. Castrillo tries to get into the box once again. Taylor could not corral it. And now Howard tries to, to switch field real quick. But Siegel is right there to fend off that attack. As Lewis and Baker were making a run, Baker was close. So breaking this game open for Howard. Baker now gets it back again. A good defense from Castrillo to slow it down. Pierce in the backfield. Taylor trying to get it away from Lewis. Lewis goes down, but he gets right back up, and that's going to be a foul on Taylor. And Lewis will take the free kick. The Bison are really aggressive on defense. As soon as they lose the ball, they're quick to make that change. It'll be Alex Taylor taking the kick for the Bison. Trying to let the offense set up. You got Mason Christian in the box, who's six foot two. He's got a lot of height advantage and a lot of these guys from Sacred Heart, so... I wouldn't be surprised if they try to target him down in these situations. Goes right near Christian, but it's too far. Headed away. Great defensive play there by Cayula. In the box, it's going to be just off of the hands of Siegel. Still in the box for, for the Bison. It's a scramble for it, and Taylor able to corral it for the moment. And that's a shot off the head of Castrillo, who did a nice job to block that. Pierce tried the shot from outside the box. It's going to be a corner kick for the Bison. Sickhart really shaking the back, getting that ball out. You want to see them angle the ball towards the sideline instead of clearing it in the middle of the field. Yeah, giving the Bison a better chance to try and score. And now they have another chance here with this corner.
Kicked into the box. Castrillo able to clear it for the moment. But Lewis keeps it in. Gets it over to Leggett. Leggett loses it. But it's going to be a throw in. As Lewis will run down there for the Bison trying to make a play. Looks like we got a long throw in right here. Locked in by Lewis, trying to make a play with the header was Bryson Baker, but to no avail as Allen goes just outside of the right of the post. And it'll be a goal kick for Siegel. Howard's pretty prolific in the air, so the Pioneers have to make sure they stay on their marks. Yeah, they've got two guys, Mason Christian and Bryson Baker, both over six foot one. Definitely big bodies in the in the box. Zickard has some big bodies on defense as well, with Mu Garn being six foot two, as well as Kayula being six foot two. So they're able to contend in there. In the middle of the field, picked up by the Pioneers for the moment. That's Moskowitz trying to find Taylor, but good defense by Lewis. Clear that one out. Pierce will just let that one go to Siegel. Slow it down. Both teams playing with great tempo early on, but let's see who will keep possession as the game goes forward. And the Pioneers have been pressured early by the Bison. Pierce knocks one down the far side, right into the middle, but a nice header from Pierre. Pierre, Pierre gets it again, knocking it into Christian. Far side Christian once again, just slowing it down. That's Taylor, goes back to Christian. Middle of the field, Baker. So good hard having trouble, but they finally get the ball away. Moskowitz, he'll corral it and slow it down. Good tackle there as P Pearson now has it. Pearson goes middle of the field. Picked up by Gallego. Pioneers are going to switch the ball. And slow it down. Kick it back to Mugarin. Middle of the field, Gallego. Trying to get by Gonsayo, but he will be fouled. And that'll be a free kick for the Pioneers. Another opportunity for the Pioneers to get on the end of one of these sw in swinging balls. It will be Castrillo taking it once again. Just outside the blue lines. Once again, the Pioneers stacking that left side of the goal. Left side of the box, excuse me. Castrillo ready to take the kick. He fires one. Far side. Goalkeeper comes out and punches it away. Nice shot by Gowell to get that one off. Again, middle by Gallego. Can't get it by. And a attempt on goal is going to be eventually scored from the ground. And that was number nine, Oliver Pearson. Looked like he fell initially, but he was able to get his foot on it and knock it into the back of the net. Pearson did a great job right there, never giving up on the play. Pitching it to the end, was able to tap it in for a goal. Yeah, great awareness by Pearson. As I mentioned, he was knocked down, but he was able to still have the presence of mind and knock that one in with his right foot as the goalkeeper was on the ground. And the, e the Pioneers are up 1-0 here with 16.09 passed by in the first half. If you're the Pioneers, you could not have scripted this start any better than this. Yeah, great start for the Pios. Pioneers goal, scored by number nine, Oliver Pearson. Assisted by number two, Asa Moskowitz. As you, as you just heard, Moskowitz with the assist. And that's Pearson's second goal of the season. And let's see how the Bison respond to this, being down 1-0 early in the match. Yeah, it's been their problem this season. They've gone down early and have not been able to recover. So let's see what they can do. change their plan of attack. Sacred Heart will now want to keep the pace slow, keep keep the Bison away from their side of the field. Nice tackle by Castrillo, keeping it at his feet. Gets it far back. 
That's Murugar, and he's going to find Gallego. Pressured by Christian. Goes far side, Dosamiento crossing into the box. Good defense by the Bison. Crosses it back over the middle of the field. That's Pearson again. Tries to find Taylor, but knocked away once again by the Bison. Number 22, Brandon Franklin on defense. Bison let off the hook right there for that little miscue right there. Can't turn the ball over in your own final third like that. Yeah, Lewis crossed it right over the middle of the field. Nearly cost him. As the Pioneers will knock that one back to Siegel to reset. Launched down the far side by Pierce. And out of bounds, the Bison will have a throw in. Starting to see Sigurd get more and more comfortable on the ball as this, uh, this time goes on. And a foul committed by Castrillo. That'll be a free kick for the Bison. Launched down the down across the field by Leggett. Or excuse me. Yeah, Leggett. Castrillo slowing it down, trying to find Taylor on the on the near side. Keeps it in. Good control. Finds Gallego in the middle. Gallego fakes the pass back to Taylor, but could not get the cross to find the middle of the field in Cayula. Bison on the ropes right now, trying to get it out of there. As Christian has the ball at his feet, now goes far side. Knocked away by Dosimiento. Taylor now gets it back. Pearson tries to go back to Dosimiento, who keeps it in. Oh, it's going to be called. Now McLeod will drop it off to Lewis for the throwing. Christian comes and picks it up middle field. Goes back to the far side to Pierre, or Taylor, excuse me. A 1-2 attempt. As Leggett goes far side, picked off by the Pios once again. 1-2 ball down the sideline. Can he get to it? He can. That's Moskowitz, but he called. It's going to be called out, and that's a throw-in for the Bison. That'll be Gaines. Trying to let the Bison set it up. He's going for a long throw. Immediately picked up by Castrillo, middle of the field. That's Cayula fighting for it, but he loses the battle as Pierre gets it right back. Franklin with it now. Looks to go far side, Lewis. Lewis, pressure, be pressure being put on by Taylor. Taylor makes the tackle, but Lewis gets it right back. Nice little bit of footwork from Lewis to get it away. That could have been trouble. Great pressure by Taylor, but even better composure right there for the Bison as they're able to switch the point of attack and get out of that pressure. The Bison just passing it around on their defensive half. Trying to slow the game down, trying to let the offense develop. Taylor goes far side to Gaines. Gaines right back to the goalkeeper. And now Franklin just allowing this play to develop, keeping it in their back half. Yeah, it looks like the Pioneers are content just keeping all 11 behind the ball. Just waiting for that long ball from the, from the Howard. Goes on, then Lewis trying to make a run for it. Makes a nice move on Taylor. Lewis makes a cross in the middle of the field, trying to find him for the header. In the box there was one of their tall guys, number 11, Bryson Baker, but he could not get his head on it, and that is a goal kick. And what an effort there by Baker, just getting his head slightly on the ball, wasn't able to direct it on target, but again, the Bison are very lethal in the air. One thing to keep looking forward to throughout this whole match. And a nice little bit of footwork by Jackson Lewis to get himself down the sideline to make that cross even happen. Now Siegel will launch this one in the middle of the field. Sigurd Hart really been winning those 50-50s early as Moskowitz loses it out of bounds. Throw in for the Bison. Gaines launching it right back at Moskowitz. He can't corral it. On 
Washington middle field once again. Kicked back to Moore Garin in the middle. Now over to Pierce. Pierce back to Moore Garin. Slowing it down. Baker trying to put the pressure on. Pierce going far side. Little one two action by Kirby. Moo Garin trying to fire it down to the far side. Picked up by Moskowitz. Heads it into the middle. Trying to find Pearson. Good defense by the Bison. That's going to be out of bounds. A throw in for the Pioneers as Moskowitz will take it. That was a great stretch of play right there for Pioneers. Getting a little possession before going over the top. And Taylor will come in and make the throw. Maybe try to get this one into the box if he can. Give the Sacred Heart a chance to extend their lead. 23 minutes have ticked by in this first half. Halfway through now. Taylor tries a long throw into the box. Off the head. Pearson has a chance. It's over the head. Over the goal. And what a golden opportunity missed right there. Yeah, Pearson had it at his legs and then kicks it back over to Moskowitz who could not keep it down. Just a little bit too hard on that one. But if you're the Bison, you gotta get a foot on the, on that second ball coming down. Unless you're the first goal, you gotta make sure you get that ball cleared. Yeah, that was a great setup by Cayula. Launched into the middle of the pitch, picked up by the Bison, then stolen away. That's Gallego with it now. Sacred Heart just relentless on their attack this half. Moskowitz with it. Goes back to Gallego. Back to Mugarn. Mugarn slowing it down. Nearly loses it, gets it back. Back to the far side. Kirby crossing it into the middle. Cayula tries to make a play on it, but good defense by Franklin. Gallego gets his foot on it. Pierre, Pierre gets it away for the Bison and eventually it was cleared by Gansayo. Siegel just slowing it down. Gives it over to Pierce. So your heart totally content with just keeping the slow pace of the game with the lead. Pierce goes over to Kirby. Kirby right back to Siegel. Siegel will now launch this one. High ball. Play is made and picked up by Pearson. A little touch pass over to Moskowitz who lost control trying to find Kayula. And now McLeod will give it right back. Over to the middle it's going to be Baker. Baker pressure on him. McLeod now has it. Tried to cross it into the center, but headed away. Good piece of heading there from Castrillo to get it out for the moment. Picked up, picked up again by Pierre. Pierre with it, goes to the corner. McLeod, pressure by Dosimiento. Launched into the box, headed away by Pierce. Pearson with it, kicks this one high and far away. And it'll be a foul on the Bison. Free kick for the Pioneers. McLeod did really well to get to that end line to, to serve that cross and just unfortunate no one in the box to get ahead on that one. Free kick will be taken by Muru Garin. Now we're going to switch it for Siegel to take the kick as Mugarn will now reposition himself middle of the field. Siegel launching it over there, but Christian able to get his head on it. And Baker trying to reverse field quickly, but makes a bad pass and Donna Schimiento gets it. But Baker gets it right back, another chance. Christian trying to make a run. Goes back to McLeod. McLeod will now cross it into Christian, but it's too far. 
Sacred Heart able to get his hand on it, but a handball called on the Bison. On Gensayo, who's frustrated with the call. And most of the attacks today from the Bison so far come from the left side today. Yeah, I really have not seen them attack that right side at all. Siegel. Will kick it away once again. It's keeping the pace of play in the favor of the Pioneers, keeping possession, keeping it slow. And Pierce will eventually launch it down. Trying to find Pearson, and he does. Good bit of work there by Pearson. And a play is made on the ball, and Alex Taylor goes down in a yellow card on Pearson. A little reckless right there by Pearson. And he is assessed the yellow, so if he gets another one, he is out for this game. And the free kick will be taken by number 22, Brandon Franklin. Launches one downfield. Christian tries to make a play on it, and he eventually gets the ball at his feet. Tries to make a nice move, but he's going to slow it down. Back to the middle field. Pierre gets it. Pierre tries to make a move. Goes back to the far side, Lewis. Lewis thought about kicking it down. Now goes back to the middle. McLeod tries to touch pass over to Christian, but it goes out of bounds. It's not there right now so far for the Bison. Try a little combination play right there. Just a little unfortunate. Ball stays out of play. Thrown in and kicked far down the middle of the field. As Pearson now gets it. And the tackle made once again by Lewis. Lewis has been very active on the ball for the Bison all day. That was a great recovery by Lewis. Bison slowing it down, trying to let the offense develop. Taylor with it. Look out for Lewis right here on the left side. Lewis is making a run for it. Franklin will go to the middle of the field trying to make a play to Baker, but a nice defense by Mugarin. He Keeps the ball at his feet, making something happen. Tries to find Pearson, but a little bit too far. Just trying to slow down the pace of the Howard Bison right now. Taylor. Will attempt to take it to the left side. Goes over to Gaines. Bison just slowing the pace of play now. Pierre. Keeping it at his feet. Going down the far side. Ryan to find Gaines. Gaines able to keep it at his feet. Touch pass. Middle of the field and... Tumbling down his leg it, but no foul, no foul called there. It will resume key play. Pearson takes a tumble. A little acting job right there by Leggett. Ref not sold on the play. A ref does call a foul. On for Pearson. Pearson, who has the lone goal in this game. Pierce will, ten, will excuse me. Number 10, Castrillo will take the free kick. Pierce will launch this one down the far side, trying to tries to find Cayula, who goes down in pain. It's like maybe... Looks like he will be all right. The throw in will be made by Kirby on the far side. Trying to find Moskowitz, ends up getting it to Pearson. Pearson goes down, but will stay in possession of the Pios. Now they're going to have Taylor throw this one in. Last time he threw it into the box, nearly got him a goal. Let's see what he does here. Going for the long throw. Try to get into the box once again. Corralled around. As Cayula could not corral that one. Taylor gets it back now. 
Gallego trying to keep the ball at his feet. And a trip by Gansayo for the Bison. And that'll be a free kick again for the Pioneers. Gallego came the ball close to his feet. Was just able to draw that foul right there. Send the Pioneers up for potentially a second goal for in the afternoon. Pioneers setting up their offense. Lou Garden will be in the box. Trying to get that six foot two frame. Maybe get a header going. A lot of big bodies in that box. See Lou Garden making a run. They're going to go to him. Tries to head it into the middle. Taylor with a chance on goal, but a good save. That was a good little play design from the Pioneers. Trying to get it to their. Trying to get it to Muragar and heads it over to Taylor. Nearly got a goal. Stays in the stays in the possession of the Pioneers. And Castrillo will take the free or take the corner kick. Thirty-two, thirty-six now through this first quarter, first half. Ref calls a stoppage in play. It'll be another corner kick. Maybe a little bit of pushing and shoving in the box. And here comes the corner kick. Into the middle of the box. Can't get it to go off the head of Mugar and misdirected it too far to the left. And that's a goal kick. It looked like Sacred Heart had one run runner unaccounted for. The Bison caught a, a big break right there. Again, struggling on, on defending the set pieces early on. And now the Bison will have a chance to reset. About 12 minutes to go here in the first half. Launched down the far side. Gaines will try to get it. And he heads it away. Picked up in the middle of the field by Leggett, goes back to Pierre, now the Bison slowing it down again, Franklin, now goes back to Taylor, over to Pierre, quick little touch pass, Try trying to find Lewis, Lewis gets it again, Lewis, being pressured, crosses it into the box, too far, trying to find Leggett in the middle, Had the right idea, but just a little bit too close to the keeper. If you're the partner, as soon as you see Lewis cut back to that right foot, you got to know that bo the ball's coming to the box. Partner's done a nice job defending. Siegel's had hasn't had too much action back there. He's made a, a couple of good saves. As he launches one down in the middle. Pearson trying to make a play with it as Taylor tripped up, but he gets the ball. Slowing it down now. Taylor, middle of the field, trying to get it away, but... Bison defense prevails. Gets it back to Baker. For the moment, Kirby. And that's going to be kicked out of bounds by the Bison. That's going to be a throw in for Kirby. Middle of the field now for Siegel. Siegel trying to let one of his guys win a 50 50. And an easy header away for Pierre. Pierre. Moskowitz getting pressure, but he gets it back to Pierce. Pierce looks around. Finds his man in the middle of the field. Gallego. Gallego making a run. Slowing it down. Trying to let the play develop. It's a little bit of footwork. Goes back to Murugarin. Far side, Taylor. Taylor trying to get it to Pearson. But Gallego has it. But intercepted once again by Franklin. Lewis tried to make a run, but he went out of bounds. Good pressure by Taylor to keep that one away. Cemento with it goes back to Murugarin and launches it in the middle of the field. 
too far for Kayula, but misdirection to Moskowitz. Moskowitz keeps it in front of him. And that ball's launched to the sideline. Kirby trying to grab it. But they're just going to let it go out. And a substitution for the Pioneers will be number 21, Zach Lorenz, the freshman. He'll be coming in for Rob Taylor. And a substitution for the Bison as well. As number 8, Ethan Persad will come in for number 14, Nigel McLeod. Now throwing for Kirby for the Pioneers. Going down the sideline, trying to find Kayula. Pearson tries to get it to Kayula. He does. Kayula crossing it over the goal. I don't know if that was a shot attempt, but... We'll just call that a shot. Yeah, we'll call that a shot attempt for Kayula over the goal. Ambitious effort. But to no avail as now the Bison will have a goal kick. To the far side, it's going to be Gaines corralling it. Goes back over to Taylor. Taylor slowing the pace of the game, looking around, trying to find something. Christian. Now around to Franklin. Once again, looks like a bit of a miscommunication between teammates there. Lewis went farther than Franklin expected. And a little bit of pressure by the Pioneers paid off. And now Dona Simienta will throw it in over to Pearson. Pressure once again being put on by the, bi by the Bison. Christian trying to get it away from Castrillo. He just launches it into the head of Franklin. Fight for the ball down there. In that deep corner. Bison just trying to live in, to play another day, just trying to get it out of there. But Sacred Heart, relentless pressure, and they'll get a throwing out of it. And that's been a common theme today. As soon as the Bison get the ball, the Pioneers are quick to jump on it. No space or time for the Bison early on. The throw in made over the middle. Pearson now has it. Trying to make it cross into the box. But the Bison able to stop it. But the pressure still being put on. Christian can't keep it in bounds. And the play is called dead. And that'll be a throw in once again for the Pioneers. Keeping it near the sideline. Picked up by Moskowitz. Moskowitz trying to cross it into the middle. And a card is being assessed to number 22 from Howard. That'll be Brandon Franklin for a reckless tackle, it looks like. That'll be a free kick. And another yell in this match. That'll be, t that'll be one on each side right now. Yeah, each side on the fringe of possibly losing a, a player if that same player gets another card. This is a very dangerous, dangerous right now for the Bison. With hey, look at number two. Look at number two. Castrillo just waiting for the play to develop before he kicks this one. Waiting for the ref to let, give him the okay. Right here, I'll look for the near post runs right here. Castrillo getting ready to kick it. Here comes the kick from Castrillo in the box. And it looks like number five, Murugarin got his foot on it, but also Pierre for the Bison seemed to get his foot on it, and that'll be a goal kick. Murugarin, unfortunate, was able to just beat his man right there and get a touch on the ball, but just overkilled it a little bit. About five and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Secret Heart leading it after an early goal from number nine, Oliver Pearson. Bit of a one-two between teammates as that's Lorenz. Goes back to Kirby, middle of the field, Muru Garin. 
Goes far side to Dawson Yento. Pearson corrals it with his chest. In the middle, Gallego. Goes back over Dos Mano, just slowing the pace. Back to Siegel. Baker putting the pressure on. Siegel able to get that one away quickly. Middle of the field, Pierre picking it up for the Bison. They lost control. Christian in the middle of the field. Sacred Heart doing a great job to keep the ball in their possession all game. And a tackle being made, and then it's a great tackle there from Leggett. And now Baker has a chance on goal, and he's able to score as that was off the foot of the goalkeeper, Siegel. And that's going to be a 1-1 equalizer. That was all set up by the tackle by Nathan Leggett on the far side. He was able to get it over to Baker, and he was able to put the goal in the back of the net. What a finish right there for the Bison as they're able to dispossess and take advantage of that crucial turnover by the Pioneers. And now the Bison have equalized here with five minutes to go Bison in the first half. Number 11, Bryson Baker. And how huge is that for the Bison, leveling the game up under five minutes till halftime. As I mentioned, they, they've been struggling when they were down, but Bryson Baker with his sixth goal, which is team leading on the season. And now the momentum could be shifting a little bit over to the Bison. Pioneers will now try to take retake the lead once again on their senior day here from Park Ave Field. And reckless play going on there. And a yellow card being assessed once again to the Bison. That'll be number 30, Peter Gonsayo picking up that one. And that's a type of foul you don't want to be to give up by Gonsayo. Dispossess the ball, but you can't you can't have that foul right there this late in the half gave Sacred Heart an opportunity to t retake the lead here just a minute after the Bison were able to equalize on that tough finish by Baker and once again Castrillo will be taking the goal interesting kick there from Castrillo as it's cleared and Kirby slowing it down. Gets it back to Siegel. Back in the middle of the field, picked up by by the Pioneers, going far side. Cayula trying to make a play. Lorenz has a chance to cross it in. Slowing it down, goes down. Good defense by the Pioneers once again. That was Alex Taylor on that one. But another yeah. corner and set piece right here. Now I was just about to say another chance for the Pioneers. They've had plenty of corners this half. As Castrillo will take the kick. Definitely an Achilles heel right here for the Bison are handling these corners and set pieces. Let's see if they, they be able to get this ball out. Look for those back post runs right there for the Pioneers. Pioneer stacking the box with all their tall guys. Trying to get it in the middle. And a foul is called, and that will be Bison possession. They were trying to get to Murugarin. He's been the favorite target on those corners, but to no avail. Now the Bison will just slow it down here th under three minutes to go in the first half. Kicked far and wide. Pioneers able to recover as Moskowitz tries to get it to the far side. Nice play by Coyote to get that get that ball away from Lewis, who hasn't lost very many tackle battles today. Crossed far by Gallego to the other side to Lorenz. Good tackle by Pearson. But a foul is going to be called as Pearson was able to get that ball in the box and nearly had himself an opportunity. But the Bison will live to see another day. Middle of the field picked up by Christian. Little one-two tries to go back to Christian. He wasn't expecting it. Sacred Heart trying to turn this one around. Pearson, and wow, he came flying in as that was Franklin. He came out of nowhere to get that one out of the way. Throw in 
one from Kirby on the far side now. Sacred Heart looking to do a final push in the last two minutes right here. Pearson. Nice little touch trying to go back to him, but he falls down. That's corralled by the Bison. Trying to flip field really quick. That's Baker. Who loses it eventually. Good defense by Pioneers. It's picked up in the middle of the field by Leggett. Slowing it down, Lewis. Taylor on the far side. Gaines. Gaines and Taylor trying to set it up. One minute remaining in the half. Trying to go far side in this last minute. Leggett able to corral it. Good touch. Leggett makes a nice move. Goes to the middle. Why is a shot on goal? Interesting decision there from Gansayo. It looks like he was... They didn't know if he wanted to pass or go for the shot right there. Yeah, a little indecisive. Yeah, it looked like it was a little bit soft. Maybe try to make a cross, but either way, Sacred Heart still has the ball. Middle of the field. Ticking down. Just 30 seconds to go now in the first half. Bison trying to make one final push. Here comes Leggett. Good defense by Gallego. Gallego has been all over the pitch today for the Pioneers. Throw in Ten, down the far side by nine, Lewis. Eight, pressure seven, putting on six, pressure put on by the five, Pioneers, and that four, should end the first three, half two, with a one-one one tie here from Park Avenue the Field. Heart what a first Pioneer half from both one. sides! And what a win for a struggling Bison team coming in 0-6 on the road, conceding one goal, goal early. <laughs> Trying to make a run by himself down the far side. Makes a move. Crosses immediately into Christian, but he can't control it. But he goes back to Leggett. And that was too far. What a run right there by Leggett. Yeah, that was a quick start by the Bison. But to no avail. As it'll be a goal kick for the Pioneers. If you missed the first half, it was a goal early by Oliver Pearson by the Pioneers from the box. But then, Bryson Baker was able to equalize late in that first half. Was launched down the far side and picked up by the keeper for the Bison. Launched in the middle of the field. Down the far side, picked up by number nine Pearson, and once again the Bison defense has been good. Except for that one allowed goal, here comes Kirby for the Pioneers looking inside. Trying to make a play. Kirby by himself tries to go into the middle, trying to find Taylor, but a little too far. And Leggett will pick that one up down the far side. And just lets it go out. It's a throw in for Dosimiento on the far side for the Pioneers. Pearson tries to cross it in the middle, tries to find a shot for Mas Masakowicz, but he can't get it off. Good defense by the Bison once again. Castrillo trying to get it into Pearson again. And another great defensive play by Lewis. He's been all over the ball all day. Pioneers trying to be aggressive in the final third early on. Siegel over to the far side. Or close side, excuse me. That's Pierce. Pierce makes a move. Goes middle of the field, finds Pearson this time. Touch pass to Kirby. Kirby reverses field, now to the middle. 
good pressure by the Bison once again. And that's number 20, Abdullah Al, Al Rafi with the tackle. That's going to be a foul on him. Both sides are going hard on those 50 50 balls. Castrillo will take the free kick. And again, let's see if the Bison can handle this ball. They're struggling with set pieces. Let's see if they can. How do you deal with this ball? That was a booming free kick from Castrillo, but bounced right into the keeper's hands. <laughs> now we're into the middle of the field. The Bison trying to make something happen. Al Jarafi could not get it out anywhere as that's picked up by Moskowitz. Far side, Dawson Miento. Slowing it down, goes all the way back to Siegel for the reset. Just five minutes ticked by though, so, so far in this second half of play. Still not it up one to one. Pearson, Pearson launches that one. Burgarin launches that one middle of the field, headed away by Persad. Tries to get it back to Baker in the middle of the field. Baker fighting for it, gets it, goes far side to Leggett. Leggett pressured by Taylor. He goes right back to Alajari. Taylor gets it now near side. Gaines was making a run. Good defense by the Pioneers. Keep that one away. Franklin. it over to Lewis. Lewis back over to Franklin. Franklin keeps it middle of the field. Picked up by Christian. Pressure put on by Castrillo who makes a nice tackle to get that one off of Christian. Once again, relentless pressure from Lewis. Back oh. over to the middle of the field. Taylor. Franklin. Pace and play slow. Lewis middle of the field. He finds Al Jarafi. Baker with a nice touch to slow it down. Finds Persad far, close side. In the middle. No one home for the Bison. Baker was a little bit behind that one. That ball picked up by Kirby. Kirby trying to make a run for it. Trying to reverse field quickly. Good defense. I'll take it, I'll take it, and then... And the foul was called. Kirby down. The Pioneers so get up slowly. And after that, it'll be a free kick for the Pioneers. Castrillo will take it. Gallego. A little bit of a one-two. Castrillo goes far side now to Mula Garin. Mula Garin trying to direct traffic. Launches it middle of the field. Great, great defense there from Pierre. And now Leggett will make a run for it. Leggett trying to make a move. Goes by one defender. Leggett in the box. Tries a shot. Tackle made by Mula Garin. What the heck is this, man? And now a scramble for it. What a play by Miriam Garn denying Leggett. And Leggett was all alone. Now Gallego is down after the tackle by Pierre. Things are starting to get a little chippy here right now. And what a sequence of events that just went down. Leggett had a run on goal, nearly had it. The tackle was made by Miriam Garn. He saved the goal. And it looks like we have another yellow card. It's our third on the bison this game. Referee not bashful of showing that yellow today. Now on the far side, it's Mosakowitz. In the middle, picked up.
picked up by Pearson again. Trying to make a play on the ball. He tries to go for the goal nearly. Just outside the far post. Great turn right there by Pearson. Finish just wasn't up right there, but that was a great turn by him. And it's very clear what the Bison want to do is when, as soon as they get the ball in their possession, find Liggett as much as possible. Dosimiento with another throw in. Trying to find Taylor. And Franklin clears it away. Not allowing the Pioneers to make any sort of offense from these throw ins. Pierce trying to keep him off the ball. Lewis and Pierce have been battling all day. The Pioneers have managed to work their way down into the offensive half. Offensive third, excuse me. Dalsamiento trying to fire one in. Finds Pierce again. Kicks it over. Gallego into the middle of the cross. Good defense once again. I'm pretty sure Dane's got his head on that one. But Kirby will try to force the issue again. Pierce and the goalkeeper collide. And that's going to be a foul on Pierce. Great idea by Kirby right there to get that left swinger in there. Test the keeper a little bit. Joel did a nice job to punch it away for the Bison. So far things are pretty even right now as both sides are getting it, starting to get a little bit more aggressive in the final third on the offensive side. Christian tries to make a play on it, but the headed away by Castrillo. Tried to flip field quickly to Gallego, but last man standing, Pierre makes the play. Persad trying to make a move on the ball. He gets it away to Baker. Baker fires a shot, but blocked away by Murugarin. It's still on the offensive third. In the middle of the field. A fight for it for both teams. Eventually the Pioneers come away with it. But the Bison manage to keep it in their possession after that. And right there you saw Baker get his shot blocked on his left side. You might want to see him go on his right foot right there it's next time. That was great defense by Amuro Garin once again. He's been on the ball all day. It's Kirby trying to get it down the side. <laughs> Middle of the field now it's Baker. Baker. Goes far side for Leggett, but it's a little bit too much sauce on that one. That. that goes out of bounds. A little too eager switching the switching fitter right there. Yeah, maybe try to lead him down the field next time. As Dosimiento will throw it in. Ten minutes have ticked by in this second half. There's a lot of action early from both teams trying to force the issue. and just trying to slow the pace of play. Pioneer starting to up their pressure a little bit. Now back to 50-50 chance for both teams. And a foul called. That'll be on number 20, Al Jarafi. Castrillo. It away over to Pierce. Pierce is looking down, trying to make a play to Pearson, who corrals it with his chest. One two pass, trying to find Cayula. Cayula gets his foot on it. Shot on goal from Mosakowicz. He nearly got there, but another great save. Great reaction there by Gawal. Now a corner. 
corner kick for the Pioneers. Great opportunity. And the Pioneers have shown they are pretty dangerous when they get these opportunities. Israel will make the kick. Middle of the field. In front of goal. And that's kicked away. Saved by Gaines. Right in front of goal. Potentially a handball right there. Maybe a handball missed by the referee, but play continues. Middle of the field. Up by Castrillo with the header. Trying to go far side. But Prasad gets his foot on it. Keeping it now on the close side. Prasad looks upfield. But a nice defensive play by Kirby to slow it down. Kirby now gets it once again. Splits to the defenders. Kirby now going to the middle of the field. Kirby slowing it down. Back to Gallego. Gallego looks upfield. Looks to make a play by himself in the middle of the field. And another foul call. And a yellow. I believe that's the fourth one for today, right, Tom? Yeah, the Bison have four yellows on four different players. So that's definitely a risk of them losing someone if they get another one. And that foul might have been more so frustration there. But that was Al Jarafi again. He's been called for a few fouls this half. He did not he did not see the field at all in the first half. And here he's come on and committed a few fouls and now he's picked up a yellow. Castrillo trying to find a little guard in a collision between teammates. Looks like there was a collision between the goalkeeper and maybe Franklin. Possible head injury there. Like a bad collision down there. Looks like it was um, number 22, Brandon Franklin, who's been all over the field today for the Pioneers. Well, I'm glad he's okay. That's good. He seems to be okay. But he will be taken off to be evaluated for most likely concussion. Good to see him back on his feet, able to jog off the field. Yeah, he seems to be okay. It was a little bit of a scary collision there. But he looks like he's able to go back into the game, so. And he jogs back into the game. Good to see that he's okay for the Bison. After all that, it'll be a goal kick. Now back into the middle of the field. The header, nice header there by Al, Al Jarafi. Leg it again, trying to fire it near side. Finds Rashad. Or Persad, excuse me. Persad makes, it, makes his way back into the middle of the field. Goes to Al Jarafi, who's going to try a shot on goal. And that'll be way off to the left. A little ambitious, but great to see the Bison taking chances. Siegel's been very idle so far in the second half. Got to test him. And now a goal kick for Siegel. Grabs it on the ball on the sideline. He's ready to take the goal kick. Picked it up by the side to move Garn. Garn will get up the side into the middle now. Cayula finds the ball, but it's going to be a foul on him. And that'll be Shalani Pierre to drew the foul, and that's going to be a free kick as Franklin now has it at his feet. Far side to Lewis. Franklin. On a slow pace. Mazakow is trying to attack. Very successful press right there by Pioneers, winning the ball back. Pearson grabs it, now slowing it down, trying to reverse. 
reverse the field quickly. Pearson goes to the far side. Taylor grabs it. But a nice defensive play once again by Lewis. He's been all over the field all day for the Bison. Looks like Taylor was a little slow to react to that ball right there. Trying to find Taylor again. But once again, Lewis. Relentless pressure. Look for a, a little long throw into the box right there. And Pearson is going to be called for the foul. So a little bit too antsy with the cleats. Another goal kick for the Bison. <laughs> launched. Field. And the Bison able to corral it as Christian goes to the far side as Persad. Persad, can he keep it at his feet? He keeps it in. The ref was right there, trying to make a nice move to get himself in the middle of the field, but nice defense from Kirby to get that one away. Kirby slowing it down. Goes to the outside. Goes far side Kirby. Kirby. Kirby trying to reverse field. He does. Looks for Dos Miento. It's too far for him. And that's out of bounds. Dos Miento with the interception. Goes back into the field. Taylor slowing it down. Back to Pierce. Pierce. Kirby. Kirby just passing it around with Pierce. Pierce goes back to cross. Giving a dangerous pass. No guard able to get it. He's going to take it now himself. Goes to the middle of the field. Tries to find Caillou, but he does. Little touch pass over to Pierce. 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 Offensive L. Making it out of the corner. Caillou. Caillou. And that's picked up and knocked out of bounds on the defensive end by Taylor. Nice pl possession play right there by Pioneers. Getting some pass and go right there, forcing a, a play by the Bison. Trying to force the issue once again. Picked up by Kirby. Kirby into the corner. Pressure by Pierre. And he turns it over, but Pioneers able to get it right back. Going to the corner. Kirby can't grab it. Try to load one two with Mazakowicz, but goal kick now for the Bison. Off the head of Cayola trying to reverse field will be Gallego. Gallego tries a one two, but Masakawas keeps it at his feet instead. Ponder's doing a better job when the ball's in the air this half. And definitely winning more of those 50 50s. Far side launched and down. Picked up by Pearson. Masakawas after the touch. Pierre knocks it in the air. Pierce makes the header to Pierce. Pierce doing a nice job with body. Keep that ball in front of us. Over the middle. Kalua Garin now will try to reverse field. Dawson Yanto. Dawson Yanto looking for Taylor. Taylor. Back to Dawson Yanto. Finds Kayula. Kayula can't grab it. Or he does grab it. Tries to go in the middle to Pearson. Good defense once again. But Pearson grabs it. 
Pearson just a little off balance right there. Yeah, never had, never really seemed like he had full possession of the ball. Tried to make a pass and just lost it. The ball caused him a turnover. Bison do a lot more defending earlier on this half. Tigers really trying to push the issue. The 50 50. And a foul called on Christian. I can't believe it. But Castrillo will have a free kick. Up by Pierce. Pearson. Lost once again. Gaines gets it away. Gaines gets it away. Stays in. Kirby gets his head on it. Middle of the field now. Gallego. Gallego making a move by himself. Gets around one. Gallego, middle of the field. Takes a shot, but it's blocked away by Franklin. Gallego was trying to shot there. Franklin doing a nice job of. And now Leggett will try to reverse, reverse field. He's got four pioneers around him, and eventually he will make the tackle as Castrillo will slow it down. Great team defense right there by the pioneers getting up on Leggett right there. Yeah, we know Leggett can make those runs. He's made a couple of them this half, but nice shot by the pioneers to surround him and not allow him to do anything with the ball. Tries to find Baker, nice piece of tackle by the Pioneers. Out of bounds once again. Throwing will be made by, by Lewis. Her side now down. Could be a sign of cramping right there. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna jog off the field and number 14, yeah, Nigel McLeod will come back in for him. Let's see if McLeod can provide a, a little spark right now for the Bison. Yeah, there haven't been too, too many subs on either side. This will be the first one of the half for the Bison. Got about 23 minutes remaining, halfway through this second half now. Good tackle by Cayula. They were trying to find a through ball to Mossa Cowitz, but great defense by Taylor, but it will be a corner. The Bison living on the edge this half. Have not allowed a goal, but they've had, but the Pioneers have had plenty of chances. And what a last second play right there by Terry, making that play from the ground. Castrillo, once again, been doing the kicking duties all day. He'll line up again. Pioneers stacking the box. Let's see if they try to do that same strategy and try to go to Mulu Garin. And they do try to get the header, but it's not going to go in. My goodness, two chances on that possession. But another good save for the Bison. Nice header play by Baker. Baker finds McLeod. McLeod, a dosimiento with a great piece of tackle to get that one away. And a slide in by McLeod. Trying to get the ball back. The Pioneer still possession. Castrillo fires it down the far side. Picked up by Franklin. And an offside call on the Bison. Take a pass. Thank you. Picked up by the Bison once again, though, after the free kick. As Christian now has it. Goes back to the far side once again. Pioneers trying to get it. And it looks 
like throw in now for your darn it. Fast paced second half here. Both teams trying to break break that tie. The Pioneers seem to be on the doorstep of the Bison though. Bison very fortunate not to concede that, that last opportunity from the Pioneers. Absolutely, and Kyula trying to set it up for Kirby. Good tackle by Leggett, Leggett. Handling a lot of the heavy load this half for the Bison. Trying to make another tackle and he gets it off him once again. Two defenders on Leggett, he takes a tumble. No foul called, Kirby going down the near side. Picked up by Pearson, trying to go back to the middle. Fighting for it, both teams. Pierre makes a tackle eventually. That's going to be a foul on Pierre. Pushing foul on the Pioneers. And now Franklin thought he was going to go back to the, to the close side, but he did not. Great patience right there by Franklin. Not trying to force things up the middle. Taylor goes to the near side. Picked up by Gaines. Gaines. Tries to find Leggett. Christian with it at his feet now. Goes back to Gaines. Back to Leggett. Good piece of passing as Leggett takes a tumble, but he still has it. Christian. And now the Bison will just reset. Now try to go to the other side now. Franklin now comes back to the near side. Taylor, not sure what to do with it. And he's telling him to go back and go on another reset for the Bison. Trying to let the offense develop down the field. This is launched to the far side. Out of bounds. And you can see the strategy by the Pioneers right now. Just just make just forcing the bison to make a decision right now, forcing them to make turn the ball over. Pierce looking around finds Kirby. Kirby. Back to Pierce now. Bit of a two-man game going on. Pierce now kicks it down in the middle of the field, headed away by Christian to Gaines. Gaines will try to keep it away from those hard players. Goes back to the middle. Christian gets it back. And once again, the Bison passing this around their half. The Cloud trying to make a move to the middle of the field. Intercepted by Castrillo. Castrillo goes to your side. He's finding Mosakowicz and another great tackle by Gaines. And Mosakowicz goes down. Gallego with it. Pioneers playing a man down right now as Moss Cowitz still down on the side. Pearson trying to corral it. Cannot. Another good tackle by the Bucks. And it looks like Moss Cowitz cannot continue right now as he's still laying on the, on the ground. be a big loss for the Pioneers if Masakowicz cannot continue. Now we're just about ready to resume play. 18 minutes to go in this second half. Still knotted up at one. Pioneers have definitely had their opportunities in this second half. The Bison have done well enough to keep them out of the back of the net. Taylor trying his best to get that one away, but Reset with Pierce. Pierce. Trying to find Kirby. Close to Gallego. Gallego back to Kirby. Couldn't keep it in. That's a throw in for the Bison. Kirby with the overlap, but a little time on the sideline to try to make that over, overlap play right there. Christian heading it away. It's picked up. Middle of the field now. Taylor. Pressure by Lewis. Lewis wins that one. Lewis has been winning tackles all day for the Bison. Back to Christian, middle of the field. Pressure being put on by Castrillo, but Pierre able to keep it at his feet. 
Now the Bison will try to reverse field. Going far side, McLeod. McLeod. Pressure by Dawson Yento. McLeod will cross it into the box. Great defense by Muro Garin, who clears it. And a sign of life for the Bison offensive end right now. Yeah, Bison were able to flip field quickly. Lewis trying to get it right back into Christian. Christian, a little bit of a mistouch. Gets it back, though. Back to Lewis. Christian now has it. Going between two Sacred Heart defenders. McLeod into the box. Headed away by Pierce for the moment. Still trouble, though, for the Pioneers right now. Leggett couldn't get it away, and Kirby takes a cleat to the shin. And he goes down. And a tackle made by Taylor, and that's going to be a yellow. And, that, and that's what you want out of your number nine, Pearson, right there. Great hold-up play right there, allowing the ball to come to his feet and wait for the reinforcements to come, able to draw that foul. And another yellow card. It's the fifth one on the Bison. Fortunately for them, they have not had one player grab two cards yet. So they're still able to play 11 out of 11. Mason Christian getting tended to by the athletic trader for the Bison over there on the far side. So what's that, five yellow cards for today? That's six total, five for the oh. Bison, one on the Pioneers. Pearson has drawn a number of them with his aggressive play on the ball. Christian saying no sub. He's just going to come on the side real quick and wait for the play to start. Play just about ready to resume here. 16 minutes remaining. Which side will give? Christian now able to come back on the field, and that's break for the Bison. It'll be a goal kick. Let's see if either team tries to switch up their strategy with the, within this last 15 minutes of the half. Ball sky in the middle of the field. Taylor and Christian fighting for it. Now Dosimiento gets his head on it. That's Al Jarafi. Gets it back over to Lewis. Lewis. Good block from Taylor. Down the far side. Pearson trying to make a play on it. Pearson able to get his hand on it by the for the moment, but Franklin. Still able to keep possession. Nice move. Broke his ankles there. Franklin doing a nice job to get away. Not an easy job right there to get away from Pearson right there, but Franklin very composed on the ball. Some nice footwork as well. Now back into the middle. Bison have the ball in their attacking half. Gaines trying to make a move upfield. He does. He has a lot of space. Tries a through ball with good defense from Kirby. Tried to find the cloud on the through. And now Pearson couldn't get to it. So quickly, Gallego trying to go down the far side. Can he get there? No, Taylor as well as Franklin were there for the Bison to get it out. Looks like the Pioneers are trying to speed things up a little bit. Yeah, definitely both teams trying to t pick up the tempo. Gallego sliding in is going to be... And that's a red now. So that's two yellows. Now, who is that on? Is that going to be on Taylor or Gaines? I'm trying to figure out who that was on. Howard will be playing down a man regardless, though. That's tough for the, for the Bison. That's the seventh yellow today six on the bison. You have to be smarter right there. Knowing that you already have a yellow card, you have to read the moment and not make that kind of tackle. Huge loss for the bison. They're one man down. Not only are they one man down, it's going to be one of their defenders as well. It's going to be Taylor who is sent off after his second yellow of the match. 
And this is a very crucial moment right here. Let's see if the Pioneers can take advantage of this. Kicked in by Castrillo too high. And another good save. With one man down, it's going to be interesting to see if the, how the Bison are going to manage their back line being short one. Definitely a great opportunity for the Pioneers to capitalize now. Middle of the field, kicked back to Muru Garin. He goes back to the middle, trying to find Lorenz. Tackle made by Franklin. Taylor tries to find Pearson, but it's too far. That was a chance for the Pioneers there. Tried to reverse field very quickly, nearly worked out for him. Howard will be on the ropes for this last 12 minutes, or 13 minutes, excuse me. Trying to manage that offensive attack. It's gonna be hard with that man down, but they have strategies in place. McLeod tries to kick it back to himself, but Mugarin Garin gets it away. Howard trying to pressure the ball as much as they can. Gallego with it, trying to reverse field. He takes a tumble. Through ball to Kirby. Kirby able to grab it. Throws it down, and he goes down. And I don't think there will be a card assess. And these fouls are really starting to pile up right now for on the Bison. Luckily for them, there was no hard assess on the play. <laughs> Very surprising right now based on how this is going. Would have been another one down. I'm pretty sure that Leggett had already had a card early in the game. Now Castrillo will take the kick. Pay attention to the follow-up. It's the first ball and the second ball. Ball's launched to the far post and oh, missed the header. That was Pierce. Pearson trying, looking for his second one of the match. If you're Castrillo, that's the type of ball you want to put into the box. Yeah, give your guys a chance to get their head on it, but it's a little bit too high for Pearson. And results in a goal kick for the Bison. To a 50 50 ball. And trying to reverse field again. Pearson off his back leg. Tries to find Gallego. Gallego tries a shot. Skies it way over the goal. That was a nice bit of footwork there by Pearson to get that one to Gallego. He saw great awareness. Gallego just launched that one way too high. A little ambitious by Gallego, but you gotta like that effort. Yeah, there really hasn't been too, too many clean opportunities for either side, and that was a clean, clear shot by Gallego. Granted, it was pretty far outside of the box. In the middle of the field. Picked up by Pearson. Pearson trying to find Taylor. Knocked away, though, by Pierre. For the moment, Castrillo picks it up. Castrillo goes far side, but it's going to get away. My man Dosimiento picks it up. Looks to find Taylor. Taylor has a chance now. Taylor slowing it down. Makes the cross into the middle to the other team. And that was Leggett who got it away for the moment. Castrillo finds Dosimiento. Fires one in. Trying to get it to Cayula but too far, and right into the keeper's hands. Now under 10 minutes to go in the second half. Ball is skied in the middle of the field. He picked up by Muru Garin. Over to Taylor, Taylor. Back to Muru Garin, makes a nice little, nice move. Touch pass over to Kaiula. Now, now Taylor again, trying to trying to counterattack. Taylor, pressured by Lewis. Taylor, middle of the field now. Finds Pearson in the box. Pearson tries a shot, and that's going to be a goal. 
and that's gonna be Lorenz with the goal. Beautiful play as Pearson lost it, but he was able to get it to Lorenz for the goal. What a absolute screamer by Lorenz right there. Great finish. One of the cleanest shots on goal we've seen all day, and Lorenz puts it in the back of the net on senior day here from Park Avenue Field. Sacred Heart bench getting hyped after that goal from Lorenz, the freshman. And what a tough goal to give up in under 10 minutes left for the Bison. You can't help but not think about being one man down. Yeah, that definitely, that definitely did not help their case. As Zach Lorenz with his big, big goal in the 80th minute of this match. That's actually going to be his first of the season. Not too bad for your first goal for this of the season. Yeah, big spot. Tie game, 10 minutes to go. And he finds the back of the net. Now the Bison will have to go ultra attacking here. It looks like it. on the far side here, it looks like the Renz is limping a little bit. Both teams a little banged up. Pioneers goal scored by number 21, Zach Lorenz. And Lorenz was actually injured on the play. You see him limping over there, so number 27, Giovanni Amato comes in. For the last 10 minutes of this one. Number eight for the Bison, Ethan Prasad comes back in. Bison will definitely need to be on the attack here. Now under nine minutes to go. Look for them to pressure heavily when it's on their offensive half. And now Sacred Heart will try to get it back onto their offensive half. Diego swinging it down, one, one, two with Castrillo. Now to the far side, Amato with it. Amato slowing it down, Brewer Garin. Pioneers have the time to slow it down. Now with a, with a one goal advantage. Del Cimiento goes far side, Kirby, Kirby. Back to Pierce. Del Cimiento. Goes to the corner. That's going to be a corner kick for the Pioneers. And look for the Pioneers to, to try and make a, a, another blow to close this game out. Being up, up one man. Here comes the corner kick from Castrillo. Launches into the box, right to the goalkeeper. Not too close what? to the net there. Dug out in the middle of the field, picked up by Baker. Al Jarafi gets it over to Leggett. Leggett finds Baker. Baker trying to find Leggett again on the run. And Leggett goes down. And that's going to be a yellow card on Muro Garin. that rough tackle on Leggett. And for those watching, that is yellow card number nine. Nine on the day. That is the ninth one. We had four in the first half, five in the second half. Two on the Pioneers, but the Bison have collected seven. Huge opportunity right here for the Bison. It's a big, big spot. Seven minutes to go. The Bison. 0-6 on the road coming in, trying to get their first road win. Down in a big spot now with a chance. And right here, you just got Tess Siegel right here. Stacking the box in the middle. Like it will kick it. Tries to launch it right at Siegel, and he will stay down with it. Unfortunate for the Bison. As now the Pioneers 
will just try to keep possession as time ticks down. And look for Pioneers play really safe right here in the final five minutes. Persaud gets it away. And now Taylor tries to go back across the field. A struggle for the ball is won by Lewis. Lewis gets it off. And now Baker with a chance. Crosses it in. Good block. Howard wants a handball, and they're going to get one. That ball was fired, I think, right at Pierce, and there was really nothing he could do there. And it looks like we have a penalty for the Bison right now. Yeah, the handball in the box, that'll be a penalty. And this is a huge opportunity for Baker to net his second goal of the match. This is big for Siegel right here. What a turn of events. And the Bison could put this ball in back in the net. Let's see what happens here. 84th minute of this game, Bison have a chance to tie it up. Siegel, big spot now, getting ready. Three blows the whistle. Shot from Baker. What a save! What by a Siegel. save! Siegel with a beautiful save to keep the Pioneers out in front. Read that perfectly. And a substitute will be coming in for Gallego, who's down. What a save right there by Siegel. Quick off his line, reacted immediately to that shot. And another missed opportunity for the Bison. Bison had a chance there. And Mason Christian hyping up his teammates. Trying to tell him, give me everything. Give me everything you have. We're down in the 85th minute of this game. And with these elements, you're starting to see players cramp up a little bit. Tired legs out there. As Masakawa is able to come back into the game after sitting down. As Gallego will now walk off. He's had a nice game. Been winning a lot of headers in the middle. Trying to set up a lot of plays. He'll trot off the field. And the Pioneers have to be careful. The Bison gun literally throw the kitchen sink at them. They have to play it safe. Look for them to clear the ball out and not risk anything in the back. Bison will be hungry after that missed free, free kick. Or missed penalty, excuse me. Leggett trying to make something happen. Pressured by Mosakowicz, who gets it away for the moment. Cross into the box too far. And that's going to be a corner for the Bison. The Bison are not quitting just yet. Doing everything they can to try to equalize. Time's ticking now. Nearly under five and a half minutes to go. Middle of the box. Cleared again by the Pioneers. Bison will have to now re-attack. Launch back into the box. Keeper trying to make a play on it. The keeper is down. Looks like Seagull is down. Another possible. I think that was a head collision once again between maybe Christian, who went up for it, and Siegel. Siegel appears to be okay. Just two guys trying to make a play on the ball there. A lot of chirping going on from the Bison side of the bench. Pioneer's ball. Pierce. Howard Bench is very upset with the call there. And now, Pioneer's will try to reverse field. He's got Taylor. Taylor in the box. Taylor makes a move. Tries a shot on goal, and that's going to be a score. And Rob Taylor. And it looked like that read deflected off of a Bison player. I think I think it did. Or maybe the goalkeeper. I couldn't see what happened, but regardless, Rob Taylor's got a goal on senior day. 
that should just about put this one away. And if you're Rob Taylor, you cannot ask for a, a perfect senior day. Scoring on possibly your last home game as a pioneer. And Howard Bison looked defeated out there. Tough break, missing that penalty. Pioneers goal! Scored by number 14, Rob Taylor, the four! Assisted by number 17, Javier Lopez Cayuela! His second of the season for Taylor. And now the Bison will do anything and everything they can to try and somehow get two goals in this last five minutes. Rob, 14. Oh, number 14. And I'm 13. What a punch to the gut to the Howard Bison right there. Pioneers will make a few substitutions. Number, number 13, Aiden Can. Number 23, Matthew McCann. And number 22, Gavin Newmeyer. And it looks like we're going to get some, a current call for some of these Pioneers on the field right now. Whatever the next stoppage is. Siegel, four minutes remaining in this one. 3 1 Pioneers lead with two goals coming in this second half. The Bison had an opportunity to, to equalize in the 84th minute, missed a, missed a crucial penalty. What a great save from Siegel to keep the Pioneers in front, and they were able to add yet another goal as Pierce will just try to slow it down. Keep, keep the possession in favor of the Pioneers as Prasad makes a tackle for the Bison trying to keep it trying to reverse field Pierre gives it back to Franklin Franklin stolen away by Pearson Pearson Jake Hart trying to make another run Taylor Gives it back to Pearson. Launched down the side. Trying to pick up by Leggett. Leggett couldn't keep it in. And now all the substitutions will come in. Number 12 for Howard. Ashry settles. Will come in. And like you said, if this result holds true, the Bison are going to be hitting themselves for the missed opportunities left on the field today. Subbed out, as well as Asan Masakowitz and number nine, Will, excuse me, Oliver Pearson for the Pioneers. I saw a play today by Pearson. Pearson was the catalyst early, scored, and he's been all over the ball all day for the Pioneers. And the Bison are on the ropes here with under three minutes remaining in the game. Foul called on the Pioneers. The Bison will try here. Maybe get one back before this one's over. Franklin goes to Lewis. Lewis trying to make a run down the far side. Goes to the middle. Goes try to go opposite field, but Kirby is right there to intercept it. Back to the middle of the field. Picked up by Can. Can goes down. It's a little bit of a scrum with settles. Three minutes to go now. And that ball's right on the center field line. Launch to the far side. It's Castrillo, but it's going to be taken away by Prasad. Prasad trying to reverse field. He's got two pioneers right on him. the field. It is Al Jarafi who drew the foul and he'll kick it. Back to Franklin. Franklin over to Lewis. Lewis. Tight. 
another substitution. Now. One minute remaining for the Pioneers. It'll be Gallego will come back into the game. A shot on goal for the Bison. That goes way far to the right. Just a little bit outside. That was Ashry Settles. He just came in. Garin getting a standing ovation as he comes out of the game in his last, possibly his last home game here at Park Adfield. Imar Garin, as usual, has been a steady, staying in the back there for the Pioneers. Well deserved. Yeah, he played a great game. Saved a few chances for the Bison here in this second half. And now Gaines will have it. Pierre goes back to the middle of the field. Al Jarafi goes far side to Leggett. Leggett trying to make a move on goal. Leggett trying to get it in the box. And another save for Siegel with 20 seconds to go here. Siegel launches a throw here. To the Ten, side. Nine, eight, seven, six, and five, four. Newmeyer will just kick two, it down to the far side. One. And the Pioneers hey, will take yeah, this one. Four, three Sacred one. Heart three. Powered one. And Sacred Heart takes this one three to one. Fans, two second half goals.